Let's now learn how to solve number 8 on the Amy. This is a really cool problem. 8 circles of radius 34 can be placed tangent to BC of ABC so that the circles are sequentially tangent to each other. And the diagram is going to look something like that. Similarly, 2024 20, circles of radius 1 can be placed tangent to BC. And essentially, we're trying to find the in radius of ABC. Now, that seems like very. How can we use these tangent circles to find the in radius? So, the first thing to note is the length BC is always constant. So, let's just say, what is the length of BC? Let's maybe get some variables. Find the length of BC. Let's call that X and that Y. This one, right? So, we have X plus y plus this entire distance. Well, what is that? Well, there's 20, 24 circles, but these first two, the first two circles have one radii of length, the first and the last circle, and each of the inside two circles have two radii of length, two, two, two. So we're looking at here two plus 20, 22 times two, which is just 40, 46 x plus y plus 40, 46 is the length of BC. Now that's from the bottom diagram. What about from this top diagram? Well, by similar logic, notice that we have one radii here, two radii, two radii, two radii, two radii, two, two, and then one radii here. So 30, 34 times 14 total radii, because it's eight circles, outside ones have one radii each. So we have 34 times 14, and 34 times 14, what is that? That's 340 plus 136, so 476. So I'll replace that with 476. But now, what are the length of these tangents? Well, the key thing is that this is 1x. That ratio of 1 to x is still preserved. So this is going to be 34x. And similarly, that's going to be 34y. So 34x plus 34y. So therefore now we have 33x plus 33y equals 4046 minus 476, and that's 3570. And now we can solve for x plus y. We can't solve for each of them independently, but we can solve for their sum, this, which is just 1190 over 11. But in radius, how in the world do we find the in radius? So the, here's kind of the key idea here, and there, I'm sure there's, there's some ways to do this with like using tangent and stuff, but here's a solution that I, I did. So we have this thingy AC. So what we should do is, or yeah, let's, let's just do it for a, the smaller triangle. It's the same thing though. So AC, let's draw a parallel line that's tangent to this leftmost in circle. Now, when this happens, notice that this thing is parallel to this thingy, Maybe I should draw it a little more so that it looks that way. That thing is parallel to that thing. So we would have that this length y is also going to be this length y. Now, why is that? Well, you can look here. This angle is the same as this angle. So these are like, it's like the same two lines that's being, it's being enclosed by, right? It's like the same two lines just shifted, basically. We're just shifting this thingy. You can imagine like you have this circle and these two tangents. You just translate it all the way here. And that's what it becomes. So x, y. And we know x plus y is 1090 over 11. But wait, if you know the x plus y, we can also find the value of b plus c, or b, c. That's 1190 over 11 plus 4046. So for this quantity, it's the value of BC. This X plus Y, take a look. We've got similar triangles. This triangle to ABC. It's similar. And the ratio is, the ratio is 4046 plus 1190 over 11, all divided by 1190 over 11. That's the ratio of these two triangles. And it's also the ratio of the in radii. And the in radii of the first triangle is one. So we multiply by one to get the in radius of ABC. 
And now, well, this is just commutation. You can see 4046 is a multiple of 119. So we just cancel that out. 4046 divided by 119 is 3, then 3574. So 34 plus 10 over 11 over 10 over 11 multiplied by 11. This becomes 34 times 11 plus 10. So 384 over 10, 192 over 5, giving an answer of 197 for this problem. I hope you enjoyed this solution.